Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another math lesson. Uh, I'm pretty surprised myself that we're now up to the 16th lesson. So uh, hopefully you guys have been understanding everything that I've been saying. If not, feel free to comment and ask questions. So now we have introduced you guys to the dot product, which is two vectors multiplying each other. So why did we learn that? When would you ever need to multiply two vectors together? Well, I'm sure there are a lot of applications, but one of them applications is in physics. And as you guys know, the dot product gives you a scalar quantity. So the scalar quantity that you're going to be finding is called work which is a scalar quantity and it's measured in uh, joules okay which we will use the symbol capital J to label it okay so what is work Work is the process of transferring energy from one form to another. Now, there are a lot of different types of energy. For example, potential energy, kinetic energy, uh, and all of that. And we're not going to get into the physics uh, on what each different type of energy is made up of. But um, what we're going to focus on is how to calculate how much energy is transferred. Okay, how much work is done. That's what we're concerned with. Okay, so let's start talking about how to calculate work. So the equation for calculating work is W equals F times D which stands for work equals force times distance so work is measured in joules force is measured in newtons and distance is measured in meters now the important part is to remember that the force is the amount of force in the same direction in the same direction as the distance traveled okay so let's you go, let's give you guys a simple example where we don't need to use vectors so you understand what work is so for example let's say we have something very heavy on the floor okay let's say a box so this is a box on the floor and this is the floor this is a very heavy box and we have a person standing here pushing against this box okay so this person is pushing against the box and the amount of force applied on the box so the amount of force horizontal force applied to the box is um, let's say 500 newtons Okay, this person is pushing horizontally against the box at 500 newtons. I should probably draw the arrow in the middle. Now, as a result of this person pushing against the box, the box travels in the same direction as the force. Um, let's say 40 meters. 
Okay, so the person is applying 500 newtons to the box and during this process the box moves 40 meters. So what's happened is this person has done the amount of work equivalent to work equals 500 newtons times 40 meters which is 20,000 joules. Okay, so that's how you calculate how much work a person has done. The amount of force that he or she is applying multiplied by the distance that they have moved the object. Okay, so what's this got to do with vectors? Well, if you imagine here the force is a vector and the distance or the displacement is a vector, what we have done is we've multiplied the magnitude of the two vectors together, right? The first vector has a magnitude of 500, the second vector has a magnitude of 40. Instead of adding them, we multiply them. And that is only that is applicable when we're calculating work. So, we're going to do something similar but this time the force that we're applying is in a different direction as the distance. Now let's say that there is a slide okay one of those slides that you see at on the playground and you have a little um, child sitting down on one of these slides okay and let's see here okay so someone is sitting down on this slide and even though that the force their weight force is directly downwards so let's say their weight force is uh, 400 newtons Okay, so that's their mass times by the um, acceleration due to gravity for all you physics people out there. Um, so then, but the, the distance that he is moving is not downwards because of the slide. He is moving in this direction, downwards. Okay, so the distance... Let's say he slides down um, 10 meters. And what is the angle? Let's say the angle between um, the slope and the vertical, let's say this angle here is 30 degrees. Okay, so then when we're calculating work, equals force times distance okay it's not I repeat it's not 400 times 10 right why is it not 400 times 10 because 400 is not in the same direction as the distance so what we need to do now is use the formula for the dot product So let's recap you guys on the dot product again. Dot product says if we have two vectors, A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times cos theta, which is the angle between the two vectors. So now you can imagine we have our 10 meters as vector A and then we have um, directly downwards we have 400 newtons is vector B and the angle between them is 30 okay so we're doing 
uh, 10 meters times 400 times cos 30. So why is it, why does that work? Because if you have a look at our triangle, okay, if you have a look at our triangle, um, we have 10 meters going down this way, we have 400 going down this way, now if the angle here is 30 degrees and you draw a line from the vector B which is our gravity force, draw a line to where the distance vector is and this line has to be perpendicular to the distance vector. Now this length here represents how much of the gravity force is acting in the direction of the distance that the person is moving along, the acting along the direction of the slope. So therefore this is calculated by, so we have this, this, this force, let's call that um, X, so that's the amount of force. So we have cos theta equals A over H, cos 30 equals X over 400. So X is equal to 400 times cos 30, okay, which is this part of the equation. So that's how the dot product is applied in this instance to find the amount of force that is applied in the same direction as the person traveling towards. So if you type that in your calculator, the answer is 3464. So the, an the answer is 3,464, um, what else was that, 0 0.1 joules, rounded to 1 dp. Okay, hope you guys now have a better understanding of how the dot product works. Uh, see you guys next time.